getting spoiled off the Xbox Series X. What's up you guys? Hostile Carry here and today we're going to be playing BMX Streets. As you can see I've just loaded in for the first time. BMX Streets being the newest BMX video game realistically since about... Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 2 came out in 2001. Of course, there has been, you know, a handful of games with BMX in them. Maybe um, Grand Theft Auto, you could ride BMX. And then Tony Hawk American Wasteland, uh, I believe, had Rick Thorne in it. That was pretty cool. But um, this really, I did play BMX Pipe, was sort of a fundraiser for the BMX Street game, but this is an official full-length video game. Super Psyched also, apparently we've loaded in as Nina Batrago, I believe, yep, Nina, follow her on Instagram, Nina underscore burrito, I believe she's living out of roughly Charlotte, North Carolina right now is a uh, North Carolina BMXer. Um, definitely a fan of Nina Burrito. And I don't know what that was about, but like I said, first Im literal first impressions of the game, hopping on for the first time, 180, half cab. It looks great. This game looks absolutely great. We're gonna figure out um, some tutorials. It's like we're going to be pedaling, turning, and braking A button to pedal. When you're already rolling, hold the left stick forward and tap A repeatedly to sprint to full speed. Turning's pretty straightforward. Just push I really feel like this game's going to end up being kind of like a Skate 3, maybe more like a Skater XL version of, uh, you know, a Skater XL or Session, like a more difficult, uh, perhaps plausibly more realistic um, controls. I know the bumpers control your hands and the triggers control your feet as far as your freestyle tricks go. Um, but since this is a first impression video, we're really just going to be learning the absolute basics here because, like I said, I haven't played this game. Um, oh, tap to sprint. Brop. Brop. This looks so sick. This is straight up reminding me of uh, the big alleys on. Ooh, and we got no brakes. That foot the foot brakes was honestly looking really good. And we definitely missed a gate too, so we're gonna have to restart no matter what. Okay, here we go. Just absolutely sprinting downhill and if this game ends up being about as good as I think it is one of the things I'm really looking forward to right now is trying to remake some of my favorite BMX video parts of all time in particular Dennis Anderson's new Raven video would be really sick if we could find some similar looking spots me the person what about we the people? Okay, so we got kind of off-brand paying tribute bike parts to the real brand. Me the person obviously being a spin on we the people. Oh, but we got some real stuff too. Saturday frame. Ooh, buddy. That's sick. And we just beat our first challenge. See if we can get up here. Pump track. I don't hate the game. I'm actually, I'm seriously falling in love with it. Trying this over and over. This feels so smooth. It's just a really tough challenge. This is a really tough challenge the line and I don't know about making the game that difficult to start but if BMX Streets is telling us anything right now it's you gotta earn it man you really gotta earn it out here
<laughs> that was sick. It's a really, really tough line. Really tough line. Guess we'll see if we can... I mean, that was just trying to make it through in time, which I could barely do. Now we'll see if we can get a trick done somewhere out here. Just because... See, got our point score. Big 540. Pretty sick. I think we're gonna move on. Move on. So that's um completed two challenges so far. And uh I don't know. I mean, see, let's check out the game a little bit. We got our characters here. Nina Petrago, Nina Burrito. We've got seven stars so far for the challenges I've completed. Looks like we're going to be unlocking more characters um, as we progress through the game. Ooh, we get to get three BMX bikes? Are you kidding me? going to go ahead and put on some of the new stuff I've unlocked. Ooh, Saturday Night Fever, black and yellow. That's that's sick. That's beautiful. Um, probably don't have any seats yet, but it looks like the customization real here really is just massive and expansive. I mean, this is just a ton, a ton of goodies. You're going to really be able to com make something totally custom as you would in real life. Um, so we got Nina on the Sunday... Wow, look at all this stuff. Hip-tastic, clear the gap. What hip? Got it. I didn't even know that was going to be a challenge. We're unlocking pedals, helmets, wheels. Massive speed at this bank. Woo! Sketchy. That's the biggest 360 to fakie ever. Wow, really sliding on in here. All right, now that we know how to run, it's time to learn how to jump. Let's get some hops. Push the right stick down to load, then flick it up to hop. Pretty simple, right? Now to get down this course, your timing is everything. Push down on blue, flick it up on red. One more time. Down on blue, flick it up on red. Getting our bunny hop practice in here. It looks like bunny hop being absolutely fundamental. BMX trick. The same way the ollie is to skating. The old yanking of the handlebars and then scooping of the pedals. Or to skateboarding with the ollie. The bunny hop being, I mean, the foundational component for every trick a rider will ever do huge 360 there that was very cool Ooh, that was pretty heavy massive jump big 360 and we're really rolling now we got the bunny hop figured out we've carved some corners just raking in all the new product can't wait to unlock all these different bike parks and just go to town with my custom custom bike man especially being a rider in real life it's so cool to see some you know real world products in there sunday frames all sorts of stuff like that the game's beautiful the maps are amazing like i, I want to just go ahead and say looking back at that right there like full-on skate three vibes but with a bmx bike like i'm just mega mega psyched right now this game's so sick and i'm probably gonna sink a couple hundred hours. first impressions of bmx streets and so far i gotta oh right, we're learning to grind right. now let's get on some rails cash me outside on my Can grind Follow the guides of this course, and you should get the hang of it. Set up on blue, hop, and you're grinding. Try hopping off those rails, too. 
And if you're feeling really crazy, push that right stick in different directions to do different grinds. Ooh. All right, so we're figuring the grinds out. Looks like if you just hop kind of in the direction of a rail, you'll just land in a double peg. That's pretty cool. And then if you can use the right stick to like balance. Okay, check that out. And naturally me making these challenges a little more difficult than they need to be. Love that hop in, hop out though. When I get good at this game, gonna be bar spins. Bar spin in, bar spin out. Going. Pretty serious. Down the hubba, smooth. Nolly on the ledge, Nolly double peg. Oh, yeah, killed it. They really even kind of copied the Skate 3 vibes with those little banners and stuff. I ain't mad at it. And one thing I want to say is, you know, I think Session has turned out to be the best, like, semi realistic skateboarding game. Obviously, Skate 3 going to be kind of the goat of uh, just all time skateboarding games, but, um, session really nailed it with the realism and especially the like pick your own fun as far as the realism goes um this game really kind of matching up with session i think so far for me see i just figured out how to nolly too that's sick we'll nolly double peg there little tire grab out too pick up some speed for this down ledge One eighty out, half cab. Here we go. Smooth one eighty up, one eighty down. That was heavy. That was heavy. What is this? A portal to a new realm. New quick travel location. I'll take it. We need some more tutorials though because I feel like I need to learn how to manual. Hands and feet. In BMX streets. Oh, we're learning some tricks. A little bar spin, tail your whip. Your bumpers are your hands and your triggers are your feet. So if you push your right hand or bumper back, You'll do a bar spin. Right bumper down bar spin. Got it. To the right. You'll do a tail. Ooh. Give these stable BMX tricks a go in this jump line. All right. So we're going to do right bumper down and then both triggers right. We're going to do a bar spin. Then we're going to do a tail whip. Bar spin. Tail whip. Double. Oh man, and this spot is sick. We're definitely about to session this for a second. Gonna gonna try to do a Ryan Nyquist line here. How about a double truck driver over the first one? Close. Three sixty drop in. Double truck driver, sick. 360 tail whip. I look like my homie Hanjin, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. Shout out Hanjin Schumann. If y'all ain't heard that name yet, go ahead and jot that down. That kid's headed uh He's going to be doing the BMX Triple Crowns next year for sure. Just watch out. Young, up-and-comer, getting the double flips dialed in real good. Uh, speaking of double flips, I don't think we have learned how to go upside down yet on this game so be on the lookout for that real soon Spinning's dead oh simple. we fixing to do some 360s when you're in the air 
Push the left stick to the left or to I the I wonder right. if we can dip a 360 on this game. It's a very important question. Let's I want to be like Chubies. on these jumps right here. Okay, so we're going to do some symbol. 360s, even though Spin they don't know symbol. like what level I'm on right now, man. I'm on it. Okay. They didn't even ask for that, but we're giving them the 360 drop-in. Oppo 3 right there. And then we're going to hit the 360 tail whip. Double whip. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Killed it. I think I'm going to really love seeing the oh yeah killed it screen. Um, that's hype. That's hype. Okay, and we're done with that challenge. Just really just raking in all the new product. Finally! We're going upside down, What's baby. It's like you pulled up to the skate park on a BMX bike and every 8-year-old kid's like, yo, can you do a backflip? Every 8-year-old kid on a scooter. Okay, so we got to hold the left trigger. And then let go to stop rotating. That's what's going to let us go off axis vertically as the left trigger. Let go to stop. So jot that down. And uh, as a tribute to Ryan Nyquist, probably going to do a double bar backflip for our first backflip. We're going to skip just the straight backy. Oop. Well, no, we're doing a regular backflip because I forgot how to bar spin. Try that again. Oh. Still sick though, still sick. Backflip, backflip. Actually, we should try to do a backflip 360 for Dave Mira. That's what we should do. I need an all gold bike too. Now that I think about it, all gold bike. Backflip 360 for Dave Mira. We're getting it. We're getting it. Backflip 360. T bog drop in. Perfect. Backflip 360. I did it for Dave. I did it for Dave. So sick. Oh, yeah, I killed it. Oh, yeah, I killed it. All right. Well, first 30 minutes i'm gonna be totally honest with you guys chop probably a lot of that out just because this game was definitely tough um to learn at first but i'm starting to feel a little bit comfortable definitely don't got like all the tricks memorized or anything but it's really coming together i think once i figure out some of the tougher grinds too like just endless possibilities on this game and that's really the beauty of bmx and skateboard and freestyle sports solo sports in general as opposed to team sports is you go out in real life as a BMXer, you go out into the universe and you ride. You ride wherever you want, you do whatever tricks you want to do. And I think that's exactly what we got here is we're just out out there, you know? Like you hone in on a spot, zone in on a spot and just start sending tricks. Like apparently we're doing a crazy side angle line down the gutters here not supposed to gap all the way over the window but okay attempt number 350 there we go huge alley-oop 270 off the spot there Cheating this little gap. Just enough speed. I look like Dennis Anderson in his newest video part, Raven. Big backflip. Let's go. Wow. That was sick. That was very sick. That's a line. That's a line. This game is putting us on the spots. I really like this this game does have I'm not I mean I guess it's a career mode it's obviously like it's just legendary come on man I killed it look at those new destruction prompt them the white wall tires so clean 
so clean, but I do like this. This game has some direction to it with the unlocking the stars here and all these different challenges. Because um, in Skater XL and uh, Session, I mean, they're career modes. I don't know. This is probably about the same, honestly. It, go here, do these tricks, whatever. But um, it's cool. It's really cool. Okay, so we got to do a turn down over a gap. And if we do a backflip turn down, I think we're going to have completed all the challengers for Jawbreak. Drop in is going to be pivotal for success here. Maybe I'm taking off too early. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, we got it! We got it! Okay, that was so satisfying. Um, relatively frustrating for a little while there, but thoroughly satisfying once I finally got it. And we're just going to go back up here, just drop in, maybe see if we can juice this hip over here. Big tail whip over the hip. Three sixty drop in. Tail whip. Try tail whip, tail whip back on the next one. How about that? So sick. Massive backflip. Carving over the little pool there. Throw a backflip, tail whip. No. Not quite. About this 540 drop in. That was so good right there. Oh, I'm not catching on to the hip though. 360 drop in. Tail whip. Do opposite tail whip on that one. Ooh, sketchy. 360 double tail whip. Straight into a back flip. Not quite. Okay, we're going to take it real chill this time. Just trying to mosey our way down the hill. Always got to do some 360s though. Just float some big 360s there such a sick tabletop there big hip just carving over the little pool section here coming up short on that big transfer struggling with the uh, getting a ton of speed coming down the mountain here Oh, that 360 up, so clean. Tuck no hander up. Back flip. Oof. Flat bottom. Not how I thought that was gonna end. All right, regular truck. Do a opposite double truck. Nope. That was the seat grab there. My friend Andrew does the best. That trick better than most people. Go ahead and say that. Huge 360. Big carve. I think the problem is we need to stick to this right side. 360 tire grab a great trick. I learned that at Ray's like 12 years ago in real life. Super cool. Actually one of the easiest 360 variations. Barely clearing up that. Barely not crashing. Oh, we're going real fast now. We're going to end with a tail whip on this hip. I feel like that would be so cool if we can get the tail whip over this. Oh man. That was almost heavy. See if we're up for it.
Pump it up. Pumping is a huge Oh, part finally of learning how to pump. More speed, more fun. Let's pump it up. To pump, hold the right stick down and push the left stick up and down. Pump down on flats and up through transitions. Like okay, this. that's pretty complicated, flats, but I think we're going to figure it out. So you got to hold the right down stick flats, down to kind of keep your body weight down. And then the left stick forward or backwards, depending on whether you're going uphill or downhill. Downhill makes sense, but never underestimate the ability of these games to make things like more complicated than they need to be. Alright, so we figured out pumping a little bit, but I'm concerned that that did not give me like the amount of speed I was hoping for, and it seems like right sticking down when you go uphill, let's see. See, so we're generating speed just by pumping, it does feel seem like it's working so right stick down as you go up right stick up as you go down big 540 very cool Uh, I know, you know, like I said, it's a first impressions, and my first impression is that this game is going to be a massive time sink for a long time to go, just because of how fun it is. Like, this game is a ton of fun. Okay, so we're going to the skit tour. We want to do two backflips, get a thousand points within 20 seconds, maybe 3,000 points. Looking for five seconds of air time. Oh, and this is a mega sick spot. What? nuts that was nuts on the skitor challenge and another epic epic spot i love this hip right here it looks so good just float a big 270 over that Ooh, buddy and we're still going downhill sketchy sketchy this is really like just full on reminding me of some skate three spots. What? What? Truck. Nope. Get right bumper and down. Look at this hip. Can we front flip it? Shout out Andy Buckworth, bro. spawning back up here this is an amazing location hip city just a big alley-oop 180 there we're kind of going a little slow now might need to do a oh no big 270 truck the hip late bar Just trying to send it to that downside there still pretty cool big regular truck driver there not gonna front flip this hip 
this time. That did not work. Ooh. We are hauling the mail right now. I look like Corey Walsh. Wow. Dude, is this the spot in Skate 3? This looks like the spot in Skate 3. They're paying some homage. Homage, that's for sure. This looks exactly like a, one of the Skate 3 spots with the big rainbow rail at the bottom of the tunnels. Just massive, beautiful hips everywhere. Yeah, so... Uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and give the final word as to the first impressions here, which is this game's amazing, especially only $40, you know. Um, gotta be worth every penny. I mean, I'm just having the time of my life figuring out these mechanics, some of the tricks, like folding that huge tabletop. Just looks good. Massive look back. This transfer here is sick. See if we can get up on the wall ride. Nope, not enough speed. That's okay though, because it's big buttery hit. Nice truck driver. Sketchy Oppo 3 drop in. Just trying to hit the uh, wall right there. Fakie 360. How about a backflip tail whip? Nope. Oh. Ooh. Hit this other hip here. Huge. Huge. Maybe we can still keep some speed as we come down into the... Oh yeah. There you go. Backflip Fagy. Bar spin 180. Half cab bar. See, that's like the other thing about it too. This game's really pick your own adventure to the extent. Oh, G turn. I mean, you can do this tight technical flat ground stuff. You can go just full speed. The manual, and that's pretty tough too, so, which is good. It should be, I mean, manual and in real life, very difficult. Not a whole ton of people, like, totally master the art of the manual, so. Yeah, very good. Like I said, just rewarding when you finally land something, you know, as difficult as it is, so. First impressions is, and you know, something about me is I really do like come into these video games blind. I did play BMX Pipe. Honestly, it was cool. It was just like a very small um, level. So I think one of the things that I might have been concerned about, like I don't really pay attention to BMX video game news just because I feel like there's so many games out. I'm like, I'll wait till something comes out. And then I'll just try it for myself and decide how to feel. So I really hadn't paid attention to... I was pretty surprised, actually, to find out last week that this game was coming out this week. Um, I mean, it's really... It's just spectacular. It's more expansive than I thought it would be. Like, the level... Uh, I mean, it appears to be massive open world. So, just an endless number of spots, which is what you really want, you know... Um, speaking of which, see if we can check out a map real quick. Maybe there's, uh, no data. But we do got 21 stars. Oh, we unlocked Sean Rakani. Bro, cut your bicycle in half, bro. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Sean Rakani. Type dude to just 
chainsaw his bike in half and post a picture of it on Instagram as a pro BMX rider in a video game. Very, uh, strange, strange behavior. But, uh, dude rips. One of the, like, X Games kids. And he's, like, a real tech guy, so maybe we'll see if we can do 180 bar, fakie, 180 bar, that's smooth. guy you see doing a lot of nose manual tricks like Brad Sims, Chad Curley. He's got balance for sure. Really like that big transfer there. And I should say too, I mean, I'm pretty much an hour and a half, two hours into my first play session on this game. And I really feel like I'm starting to kind of pick some things up, like the basics, getting a little bit more comfortable with the physics. Um, game's an absolute blast. Highly recommend checking it out. BMX Streets. And uh, this was just my first impressions video, so I literally have just hopped on the game for the first time, so take it easy on me, obviously not that good yet, but uh, plan on playing this game a whole ton for more, massive fan of uh, action sports video games in general, and this looks to be great, we've gone 20 years without like, a real good BMX game. The BMX community deserves it. Um, they've gone above and beyond. Really my expectations here. $40 on Steam. Hopefully going to be coming to console eventually. Um, get your flow on, man. BMX Streets. So sick. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I look forward to catching y'all next time. Peace, y'all.